What's up, everybody? Um, still a little under the weather <coughs> today, so bear with me if I show any cognitive deficits. Um, just not feeling well. We are, look at that, we have a 300 day streak. That's really cool. So today's not the day to blow it. We're doing Dolly. And as you know, um, I like starting with a type of thing like that because it tests for some very tricky um, LLY words. Um, we, we're not gonna get this in one because we did have Dolly not too long ago, but let's see how Dolly does. I think pretty good, we have an O, that's not bad. Uh, we could test for more of them, but I think I would prefer just to get some fresh letters on the screen. Ah, yeah, that's funny. You could actually do Forte from yesterday's solution. I don't think we would do that. Um, we could check check for the uh, ER trap, and, and O is a, a very um, common letter that fits in with that. We, I think we had cover. I mean, you could do something crazy like boxer. Um, how about sober? Yeah, that's a good one. Test for the S, that, that's important. We're killing two birds with one stone, guys. We get the ER looked at and we get the S words looked at. And, um, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and get a B in there. Um, were we uh, sober in the way we played today? And did we get sober in two? No, we only have an R, okay? Ah. We could do... Um, Ah, what, what, okay, no, so no E, so what, what are we going to do with Rowdy, actually? No, no, there's no, there's no D. Um, Roach? That's okay. I mean, yeah, why not? Uh, I'm not going to ask if we got it. I don't know if that's going to be the answer. Did we get Roach? <laughs> okay, I'll ask it. Did we get Roach in three? No, we didn't. But that was a good guess. Ah, uh, so... Uh, I guess we're looking at torch, okay? Or porch, or porch. Both of them are viable. Um, there's nothing I can do. There's absolutely nothing I can do. I'll go with torch just because it's a little bit more thematic with the, um, I'm not even sure if it started yet, but with the Paris Olympics underway. Did we get torch in four? No, we didn't, okay? They didn't want to be thematic. So we're gonna have to go with another five, okay? I hope, I hope I'm not in a trap here, guys. I mean, porch, what else? It's not any of the existing letters. Yeah. Okay. Porch. Ugh, what a pathetic, horrible, just absolutely abysmal, disgusting solve. However, at least we still preserve our streak. I just don't know what's going on, guys. I just can't. I'm just not playing well. I'm just not, like, you know, in it at all. I, I think, you know, the guesses were pretty reasonable. I think they were okay. And um, yeah, I just fell short. And, and again, I don't think we've had, you know, I don't think we had Torch. So I think that was a, still a, a decent guess. There you have it. Tomorrow we're going to start with MC. Ooh, that's a tough one. But boy, if you want to know where an E is located, it'll do a good job of um, detecting that. So E-M-C-E-E. -E -E. Hope you enjoyed. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of A Whitele. What's up, everybody? It's time to try strands uh, for Thursday, July 25. All that jazz. Okay. All that jazz. So I thought I uh, yep I see swing. Okay, I think that would count. I see funk. Um. Okay, so I see the swing. I see ragtime. I used to play the piano, so I kind of remember some of these types of jazz. If funk is correct, then bebop. Yeah. So maybe these are just different types of music genres in general. So you got your ragtime, you got your you got your funk, you got your cool, you got your bebop. So the spangram, uh, unless bebop continues something. Your spangram is shut off um, from top to bottom, so it's going to go left or right, right or left. Um, and
And we already did swing, so it could be uh I mean I don't think it would be dance. Because you'd be shutting off the eye there. Um So B B B Bop. Okay. Ragtime, okay. Um Punk. Uh, it, it could be either punk or funk, interesting. Um hmm. So swing for sure. What would the Spain Graham be here? Um Hmm. Ragtime. Uh, sound. Mm, punk and funk. Interesting. Cool. Bebop. Funk. Swing, okay, so if swing's there, then what's this? I can't see the, how it, what's going on with the, the dance. It, it looks like dance, but I just don't think it's going to be, it shouldn't be that. So I just can't see what that word is there. Mm, too bad I'm having trouble with the spangram, because I think we have, you know, a lot of these words detected. Um... But the spangram is tricky. So let's not waste time. That's not going to work for me today. And let's just start devouring some of these other words. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I just can't get it, guys. Just not smart enough. That's all. Cool. Bebop. Okay. And then it's funny. It's either funk. Oh, so it's... Uh, yeah, it couldn't have been punk. So it's funk. And then I think we still have the swing here. Yep. Okay. And now this is where I got sort of stuck. So it just, it couldn't be dance, right? Because then you're not dealing with the I there. Six, seven, eight, nine. So we have three plus the spangram. Um, okay, but we've got this R here. <laughs> Fusion. Is that a type of music? Yes. Okay. There you go. Fusion. Um, so two more words plus the spangram. Ah. Uh, what the heck? Mm. Yeah, I can't. I just can't see it. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, come on. But like, hang on. Let's be logical here. The spangram has to either like start with sub or sug. Or end that way. Let's try sub. Subgenre. That's a tough spangram. Like when you see all that jazz, there's no way, you know, your first thing you're thinking is a subgenre. Yeah, that's too bad. I just, yeah, I'm glad I didn't waste time on it. And then um, acid. And finally, what on earth will this be? Okay, so we literally have the letters M-O-L-D-A. What on earth would be the anagram of that to get some type of sub-genre? Is it Molda? No. Um, a 
Latum. Modal. I haven't heard of modal. Ah, ah, not my favorite. I don't know. I just, um, yeah. I mean, it didn't take a tremendous amount of time, but I don't know. There was something about that. Some of those just didn't click. And, um, yeah, that was a tough Spangram subgenre. That wasn't like, you know, it just wasn't my favorite one there. Uh, let me know how you guys did, and I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Strands. What's up, everybody? It's time for Connections. Let's do it for Thursday, July 25. <clears throat> a little sick, so I'm not thinking at my best. So let's try to survive, right? To uh, survive today. We got wax. I'm going to do the clockwise spiral. Wax, mummy, gift, anchor, papyrus, talent, faculty, host, parchment, instinct, sprain, burrito, present, clay, moderate, and flare. I mean, papyrus, mummy, parchment are things associated with like ancient Egypt. I mean, maybe clay, like clay pottery. I don't know. So that's a little far fetched. Clay. I mean, I suppose. I'll keep it there just in case. If that were the case, um, you can, you can, uh, let's see, anchor, moderate, host, and present. These would be like actions on a, um, like, uh, actions on a news um, program, right? You can have the, you can, you can act as an anchor, you can moderate, you can host, and you can present. So these would be like, yeah, actions on a uh, news program. Okay, that's not a bad category. So that's half of them, hopefully. I just, I'm not crazy about this one that I have lit up. You can have a gift, you can have a talent, you can have a faculty, and I guess you could have either a flare or an instinct for something. A gift, a faculty, and a uh, talent. Those are perfect. She's got a flare for something or an instinct. Hmm, that's tricky. It's just like, which is better? I, I feel like a you have a flair for something is a little bit better than just an instinct. Uh, but you could make the argument for both. That's why they're doing it, right? To, to mess with us. <clears throat> so now let's ask ourselves what's left. If, if we've done a pretty good job, even though we have that extra one there. You've got wax, burrito, and spring, right? Those have not been accounted for whatsoever. Um... And I'm like a little bit nervous, like wax might also go into that Egyptian category for some weird reason. Uh, I'm not sure. But burrito and spring. If you take away the R, you have Spain. Ah. Uh -huh. Huh, that's interesting. Country is minus a letter, but you can't do that with burrito. This is going to be tricky. So, uh, the, I don't know if those three really do go together. Um, wax, burrito, spring. Let's actually, okay, I'm pretty confident. The, the only one that I think is really solidified is the one with the um, uh, news, news show activities. Things you, things you can do on a news program. You can anchor it, you can moderate it, you can host it, and you can present. Would this be, just double check that there's nothing else that you could really do there. Now, that looks pretty good. Are these things you could do on a news program? 
okay, lead as a TV program. Perfect. I'll definitely take that. Cool. So again, you've got your talent, you've got your faculty, and you've got your, I mean, I could just, I mean, I know these are going to go together. So we could just do flair and instinct and, you know, I might lose a guess. But spring, the funny thing is spring and burrito, if I'm correct, spring and burrito will have to go together. Spring and burrito. Wow, that's really weird. What would those two have in common? Um, sprained ankle, things you, I mean, that's weird. I don't see that. Spring. Well, what the heck? We can just burn a gas. I just don't know whether to go with flare or instinct. We'll try flare first. Would this be having um, <clears throat> um, ability? Okay, we'll go with instinct. Oh, shit. So I'm wrong. All right. That's too bad. Oh, so this talent faculty gift thing was a complete red herring. Ouch. Okay, now we got to be careful. We've burned two guesses just on that. And of course, the funny thing is it could be instinct flair. Oh, shoot, that's the, that's the tough part. So Because I just think gift faculty and talent is so, get, so good. But now we could actually have instinct flair and then two of those three. So now I'm tempted to go with papyrus, mummy, parchment, and clay. Are these things associated with ancient Egypt? No. So then maybe, ah, shoot, I'm going to lose this one, guys. Ah, oh, this is so unfortunate. Oh, boy, what happened today? What happened today? So papyrus, mummy, parchment, wax, Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think we are looking at this from the wrong direction. Mummy and burrito, are these things that you wrap? Okay. A spring, I guess you could, could you, you could sort of wrap a spring. A parchment, definitely a parchment you wrap, right? It's like a scroll and you unwrap it. Oh, and you, you wrap a gift. Oh, this is a tough one, guys. Okay. I'm still probably going to lose, but at least we can save face. And I think get two categories. Let's just double check. The burrito wrap for sure, mummy wrap, gift wrap, and parchment. Oh boy. Papyrus is more of like a tablet. Parchment you do have to wrap. And I, and I don't think you'd wrap a spring, right? That, that could be a way to treat it. So let's just see. Is this um, things you wrap? Oh no, I lost. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a hard one. Ah, oh, there goes my streak. It was it was about, I don't know, um, at least a month. Okay, um, so let's see where I went wrong. So the wrapped things, I was on the right track, and you do wrap a spring. Ah, uh, I just was thinking parchment is like sort of, I imagine it like a, kind of like a scroll, and you unwrap it. But it's just the surface that you write on. And so, yeah, that's a good one. Ancient writing surfaces. Natural ability, I, yep, the problem there is that it did not involve the gift. It involved the faculty, the flair, the instinct, and the talent. And, yeah, damn it. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Because, you know, those categories were definitely doable. It didn't have any, you know, of those crazy, <sighs> you know, um, stuff going on in the world. And, you know, I don't know, just the... Stuff that I'm not good at. All the stuff, you know, with, um, uh, you know, all that stuff. I just, I just am very disappointed because I just didn't have, I just wasn't in control of this puzzle. And if I had just sort of thought it through a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, you get distracted by a category, that ancient Egyptian stuff. But that really wasn't good enough, right? That wasn't strong enough. I don't think clay is necessarily associated with that. Ah, what a disappointment. See you guys tomorrow for the next round of Connections.